Hello, this is Pantsline from PS2 Gamer, and today is day 25, nice, of the D&D 30-day challenge that I've been doing, where I've been answering questions about Dungeons & Dragons for the last 30 days, based on my thoughts and experience with the game through its various editions. Alright, so, got the questions here, so today's question is, what is my favorite magical item? You know, after all the decisiveness of the last few days where I've been able to give, like, really definitive, like, this is absolutely my favorite item, um, I cannot do this with this. Like, there's no one single magical item that I can say, like, this is my favorite, this is the end-all, be-all of magical items. Without it, I would be lost, and I actively seek it in-game. I do not have one um, to give for this. Sorry, not going to happen. Um, what I can give, however, is my favorite set of items. And these are items that, given the opportunity to have, I absolutely go for them. And to be perfectly honest, a lot of them are very old um, and may not have necessarily made the jump to later editions. So, um, and they're all, of course, based off my experience playing D&D, which is primarily being in wilderness campaigns and games where... Uh, we haven't been deep in dungeons a lot, so that's really shaped what I think about magical items and a bunch of other stuff about the game as well. So, um, here, here, here we go. So, my favorite set of magical items. Uh, the Cloak of Comfort. Uh, it was an item in 2nd edition. I can't remember if it made a leap, leaps forwards. Uh, and basically, you put this thing on, and you're comfortable. It didn't matter how hot it was out. It didn't matter how cold it was out. It didn't matter how wet it was. Anything. Like, basically, provided there was air to breathe, uh, you were good. No problems. Um, and I just love the idea of a cloak you could put on and be like, oh, man, this is perfect. You know, I'm, I'm at room temperature constantly. It's lovely. Uh, yeah, so there, there's that. Uh, the next one is Heward's Handy Haversack. Um, Heward's Handy Haversack was a collection of bags of holding in the shape of a backpack. Uh, and basically, so you had a whole bunch of little bags of holding in a little backpack, and so you could fill up your different pouches with all your different items and all that sort of stuff. It was basically a, a bag of holding plus. Um, not really much to go into with that. Uh, it was just a really handy item, especially uh, for characters who were frequently on the move. So like we didn't have a stronghold to store our gold in. We didn't have a place to keep all our spare magical items, all that sort of stuff. So that sort of thing, massive benefit very, very quickly. Um, hmm. Hmm. So after that, um, oh, boots of the elven kind. Uh, always loved those. Um, didn't matter what character it was. They're always handy to sort of have. That or uh, boots of uh, striding and springing. Those are pretty handy. Um, so either of those boots, and uh, of course the the last item I I, I love uh, and actively go for when I presented it is the uh, well it's a magical weapon, uh, and hang on I'll get the appropriate book here. Second edition. I know this one made the leap into later editions. However, um, I'm just uh, the second edition book is closer at hand to grab. And I just want to read out. Uh, was it the Sunblade? No. It was. Oh, jeez, they don't have it listed in here. Really? Oh, wait, hang on. Not, nor is it the Flame Tongue. Um, although the Flame Tongue was fun. Oh, when? I am, apparently I am right out to lunch. Uh, oh, no, never mind. There it is. Uh, I just apparently cannot read very quickly. Yeah, the uh, Sword Plus 3 Frostbrand Plus 6 versus Fire using slash Dolan Creatures. So, the Frost brand. Um, yeah. Uh, I think it's cool. It always is plus three bonus. Um, when it gets below freezing, uh, well, 
when it gets below zero degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which I don't even know what that is in, in real degrees. Um, let's see, like 32 is the same as zero in Celsius. So... I have no idea. Uh, Fahrenheit makes no sense to me. I'm part of the civilized world that doesn't use that nonsense. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, just a cool, cool sword. Um, I like the look of it. I like the idea of it. Um, really dug it. Uh, it can extinguish fires, which is nice. Like, just having it out is enough to, like, put out minor, like, put small fires out. And you can, if you, like, thrust it into something, you can put it out. Um... Yeah, just a really cool sword. And so, yeah, uh, that's it. That That is my list of uh, favorite magical items. I mean, there's other stuff, too, of course, but those are the things that I will always go for, uh, primarily being the Cloak of Comfort, Heward's Handy Haversack, and a Frostbrand Sword. Uh, if I can get those, I am a happy camper. Uh, nine times over ten. Unless you're fighting frost creatures, then I'm like, man, this sucks. But that doesn't happen too often, I hope. Anyways, so thank you very much for watching. Um... There will be no video tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is November 11th, and up here in Canada, that is Remembrance Day, and as a veteran, I'm going to be busy. Um, I'm laying a wreath, doing a bunch of other stuff, and then, um, yeah, things will be happening after that, and I will not be making a video, so there will be a video on Sunday. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please check out my blog, POCGamer.com. Please check me out on Twitter, at POCGamer. And look me up on Facebook. Just type in POCGamer in the Facebook search thing, and you'll find my page. Thank you very much. Have a good day, and I'll see you on Sunday.